but we have to go save Auntie Jamie. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon, this is Balin, and it is Blade Show West. 7 a.m. right now, we are heading straight out to hook up Jamie with some tables and a chair. Probably gonna go to a coffee shop first and uh, show you guys our October pocket dump. I think I'm gonna do an, a separate pocket. I think I'm gonna do a separate pocket dump video as well, but this one should be pretty decent, so. We'll catch you guys at the coffee shop and show you what we got. Okay, we're at the coffee shop. It's right there. It's called Coffee Garden. Oh, you guys can't even see it. It's called Coffee Garden. So this is 9th and 9th pretty much here in Salt Lake City. If you guys ever drop by, it's a pretty dope place. Um, yeah, let's cross. We're gonna do the pocket dump inside there. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Or I guess we could do it outside, but hey, look, 23-0. This is the new Taurus EDC AGP. Um, I, yeah, I'm still testing this thing out. It's pretty decent. We've got some patches, some rees. Again, guys, this is gonna be a super simple and easy pocket dump, but Balin has the tan what a slider. Got the curator bead on it. Of course, this is mine, but I'm probably gonna end up giving it to you. Is that cool? I just got myself a chai. It was supposed to be an ice chai. But, yeah, I forgot the ice chai part. So, Blade Show West. Um, I think we're gonna do some things. We're, we're probably gonna hit up Vero, Protec. What else? Those Chavez. 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 Balin Pena. wants a 229. I want a Pena Custom. Balin wants a Pena Custom. We're, talk we're talking about dropping a lot of money. And that's gonna be fun, I guess, right? How, mu how much did you bring? In cash? No, in total. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Phelan brought seventeen thousand dollars. No, still up. No, I so I brought like two k, two grand from the knife sales that we typically do on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's every dot day dot minimalist, and I usually post my knife sales on my stories. They usually sell out within like a couple hours. So if you guys ever want in on that, make sure you have notifications on. Phelan is probably going to be selling some stuff too. I'll, I'll probably sell it on my Instagram for him if he's selling any knives. Okay, Millen, open up the pouch. I'm gonna tell you guys what he has. So, what a slider from Data Crew. And then he's got Underdog Hank's Hank, JRW Ranger Eye. What is that? Dragon Balls. <laughs> I know what Dragon Balls are. Don't even, don't even sweat. And then he's got the Benchmade Shorthand. Here, you pull them out. Or no, that's the 4.7's Prion Mark III. P, P1 Mark III, P2 Mark III, whichever. Tactile Rockwall. So that is the 20CV version. The Gear Spool Pry Bar with some orange paracord. Next to that, we've got the Coyote Tan Curator Flex. This thing is just badass. Yes, love it, okay. And then the Zero Feud Magnets, Fidgets. That's the fidget. Cool. Okay, so that's Balin's carry. Go through mine now. I've got a bunch of Ranger Eyes. We've got Toad. Then we've got some Castle Grayscale patches. The Data Crew one, Starco, and then my personal one. We've got a 4T5 acrylic bead here. On the back, I did a red paracord. Open her up. We've got some stuff in here. Renegade EDC Hank. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Hello? 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 Popo. Okay. Um, I don't think I have anything in here, do I? Yeah, hold it down for me. We got some extra batteries. 10 440s for my flashlight. We've got, oh my gosh, I'm not a lefty. Benchmade Anthem, of course. It's Blade Show, guys. It's I had to. 
I had to. We've got the CWF Micro Arcadian Custom Titanium Stonewash Flashlight. As you can see, I've been using the hell out of this and beating on it. Thanks, Urban EDC Supply. Next, we've got a Zippo lighter. So this is just like a matte, matte black one. The SOG Power Pint Multi-Tool. I'll do a review on this later. The TMP, Tactical and Portable Tiebreaker. Big Idea Design Zirconium Mini Bolt Action with the Timascus Bolt. This thing is just so good. It's small, very compact, portable. This is the Daily Carry Co. tie pick. So you basically screw this in here, screw it in. I use titanium toothpicks all the time, so this is just really, really convenient to have just anytime I need it. Under that, we've got another Curator Flex from JRW Jamie. This is just the yellow version, just to kind of match the overall aesthetic on the Notorious AGP. There is a the pocket dump. Let's go to the show, yeah? Oh, and of course, of course, my bad. This is my primary carry, the Winter Blade Co. Factor. Yes. It's just, it's just too good, guys. It's too good. Okay, let's get to it. The sun isn't even out yet. Yeah, it's not out yet. We're crossing the road. Ninth and ninth, guys. We just had some spilled milk ice cream. Their signature is their condensed milk ice cream, so they are also here if you guys ever visit Salt Lake City. Maybe next year, Blade West, if they come back. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Into the Forerunner. Jeez, oh, we got to do this quick. Yes. Okay, we're here, we're parked. We paid for the parking for two hours and then we have to move the Forerunner or reload it. But we have to go save Auntie Jamie because he needs uh, some tables. So we're gonna go locate him and we're gonna go in the show, see if there's any lines forming at the moment. But uh, yeah, here it's she what, is. Here she. Yeah, it's what. Eight o'clock. Eight a.m. I, th I was like, yeah, we should show up at like five a.m. But then we're like, ah, uh, tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> it's gonna be a good time, guys. Hopefully, this, these doors are open. I think they are. They should have opened them at six. Into this ridiculous room now. They have like these weird. Echo thingies, I guess. Oh, and by the way, let's show you guys where we hid the knife because uh, we had the, someone already found it. Said Stevie is the one that found the knife. <laughs> I don't know, last night it was like 10 o'clock? It was like 10, yeah, it was like 10 p.m. So last night, I mean, we, we went to dinner with Jamie and then a couple other gents. And then we went to uh, get some ice cream. We just happened to run into Ben Peterson, Lucas Burnley, and TJ Schwartz just chilling. I was just like, oh, dude. This is awesome. Did you have a good time? Balen, Balen, a good time. Couldn't, Balen couldn't eat any ice cream. No, it's too full. It's too full. But yeah, uh, we hid the knife over here. <laughs> I don't even know how we got up there. We put it right here. In that location, let's just, let's just loop back. Oh, you got it. That's where we hid the knife. And uh, the show will start in two hours. Hopefully we can get in. We'll see. Jamie is in that hotel. We're gonna see if he walks out that door and then uh, I guess deliver him to the Forerunner so we can get him the table, so we can get set up. <sighs> Let's do it. Uh, the man himself. Everyone go follow Jared W. here. How we doing this morning? You know, just hanging out. So. Let's, go get, let's go get your stuff. Let's do it. You have to. You have to.